Star Trek – Deep Space Nine – Crossroads of Time is a 1995 action-adventure video game for the Genesis and Super NES platforms, based on the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. Critics praised the game's authentic recreation of the look and feel of the TV series, but often criticized its gameplay as repetitive and clunky. Topic: Gameplay. In the game, the player controls a member of the Deep Space Nine's crew, mostly Captain Benjamin Sisko, also Dr. Julian Bashir, Major Kira Nares, and Odo. Most of the game's levels are cinematic platformers. One is a horizontal scrolling shooter. Platformer levels are of two types, adventure levels and action levels. In adventure levels, the player character moves around the Deep Space Nine, talking with NPCs and ultimately reaching a certain point in the plot. In action levels, the player wanders the level in the cinematic platformer style, climbing ledges, fighting enemies with a phaser, finding and using items, with an ultimate goal to fulfill a certain mission, sometimes within a given time limit. Reception Reviewing the Genesis version, GamePro summarized, "...despite DS9's remarkable graphics and authentic Trekkie atmosphere, its simple, repetitive action will attract only puzzle fiends and devotees of the TV show." They elaborated that the puzzles are time-consuming, every conflict can be won just by crouching and shooting, and that players must view the same conversations every time their character dies. A different GamePro critic reviewed the SNES version. He criticized that the controls are clunky and that the levels are repetitive and similar looking to each other, but also remarked that the authentic Deep Space Nine look and spirit would make the game enjoyable for fans of the show. A reviewer for Next Generation complimented the game's story and faithfulness to the source material, but concluded that the slow pace, unclear objectives, and muddy graphics make it recommended only for undiscriminating fans. The four reviewers of Electronic Gaming Monthly gave the game a positive review. Two of them criticized that the pace is too slow, but all four praised the backgrounds and character sprites as reproducing the look of the TV show with great attention to detail, and they emphasized that fans of the show should try the game. Though they remarked that the graphics are not as good in the Genesis version, all four reviewers gave the two versions identical scores. Next Generation reviewed the Genesis version of the game, and stated that this game is boring and will only be of minor interest to Deep Space Nine freaks. <laughs> <laughs> 